Yeah, it's exciting. Um, I mean, we've been we've been working for a while now, like what a couple months. So it's kind of there's nothing new right now. But um, I really like where where we're at and where I'm, I'm at myself in terms of my health and uh, kind of what I've been able to put together every day. When it comes to maybe what you've got a taste of with this defense so far, and right. Wilson, what what's exciting? What's different? I feel like. Um, I mean, maybe it's my second year at the position, or I think it's a little bit of both between that and the system, but I feel like a lot more free, you know, um, kind of going through my reach quicker and eyes on the quarterback, able to make some plays. Do you feel like you're ready to, to take a jump in this role and really embrace it and what yeah. the opportunity is in front of you? Yeah, no question. I, I'm excited. You know, I'm going into my fourth year, but it's kind of a unique situation where last year felt like my rookie year, you know, because my, my true rookie year, I was, I was a nickel. Um, had a solid year in my second year. I was out all year with the injury. Then I came back my third year, you know, after not playing and, and at a new position. So now it feels like, like I said, it feels like my second year going into, you know, the safety position. So I'm a lot more comfortable than I was last year and excited. Do you feel any pressure in that? And that it feels like a lot of people are looking at the new cornerbacks, mm -hmm. Roger in his role, and Imani, and they're like, okay, all that, all that's set, but where's that other safety in a lot of ways? Do you, do you hear any of that? And do you feel any pressure to? To solidify yeah. yourself as that guy, um, I know what I'm. I'm capable of, and I. It's kind of reminiscent of of um, my junior year in college. I feel like my first year, my second year, I was kind of like that six man uh, in my. In, you know, uh, for the team because we had a good we had a good back end. Then my junior, year, I kind of stepped into the role and was able to do some good things and um, ended up having a good year. So it's there's a lot of. Uh, um, similarities between that year and, and the year I'm having right now or about to have so hard, yeah hard to believe it is year four and maybe yep. how does your mindset maybe change as, as you kind of get older in the league um I feel like I'm at a point now since I'm comfortable at the position where I want to start affecting the game more um and kind of get back to you know what I was able to what I was able to do in college um I'm still that same player but I feel like um a lot of times I've been trying to juggle a couple of positions and, and I haven't been playing free. I've been, you know, thinking too much, but this year I feel like I'm really focusing on safety. You're just trying to survive. Uh, and I think having a full off season uh, this past this past year and just being able to, you know, I mean, come in the building and being able to breathe a little bit, uh, it's been nice and uh, I've been loving it, so. Did you, uh, did you get a little bigger? Did you try to add some, some bulk at all? Yeah, most definitely. I think I'm really like the same weight, but I feel much better. Um, I think it's a little bit better weight, um, and I feel really good. So. I think, I think Levis mentioned you guys have been kind of tight to the hip this offseason or the last couple of weeks. How has your relationship with him grown over the past two years? It's been good. Um, I mean, coming in as a rookie, like you really don't have much time to hang out outside the building. Um, and so we've just been, I mean, had opportunities to, I mean, go to a Preds game or golf or whatever it is. Um, and just build that trust. You know, I mean, build that relationship. It's been good. So when you when you had Derrick Henry back there, things were pretty predictable you know, for this team. How much more unpredictable are, is it now, and how much more advantageous is it for a guy at your position? Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I think everybody we brought in this year, I think is, we have playmakers on this team, and we we're able to do a lot of things. Uh, very dynamic. Um, and like I said earlier, I just think like right now we're trying to see what everybody can do, um, and then we'll work from there. So. How do you think it may afford you more just from proximity at Cincinnati at all? Or? Uh, no, not much. Um, I think we might have met when I did my one of my local days there. Uh, I'm not sure, but no, nah, he's a he's a LaSalle guy. Uh, we both went to LaSalle. Um, go Lancers, man. Go Lancers. <laughs> Initial impressions without getting into too much specifics, but you like what you see in terms of opportunity, in terms of an offense, in terms of a passing game as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, what I see right now is uh, what I call nickel and diamond. You know what I mean? Take what you can get, um, which I think the tight ends can play a big role in. Uh, you know what I mean? Five, seven, eight yard completions here and there. Um, yeah, and I love what I'm seeing. Uh, I just think we just got to keep working every day, hit the details. Um, like you guys were talking about, keep building trust uh, between quarterbacks and everybody else, and uh, I think we'll be in a good spot. Yeah, I mean, definitely I feel like a different uh, just approach and philosophy. Um, it's fun as a receiver, obviously, you like to throw the ball, um, but it, I don't think it's, it's one-dimensional anyway. It's, it's different, yes, but 
it's also still football in the NFL, and I feel like every team in the league uh, kind of has the same approach in, in how to attack a defense. Um, a lot of times the concepts are still the same. It's just what you call when you call it uh, and the details behind it. Nick, what's been the challenge for you this offseason? Season-ending injury that you dealt with going into the offseason and then obviously coaching change and all that. I mean, yeah. you've been around for a lot, but this offseason was unique. Yeah, it was. Luckily, the, the injury wasn't too, too bad. Uh, I was able to heal pretty well. Um, but it was a lot going on. Like you said, it was, you know, coaching change, coming off that, uh, getting ready to, to start a family. Um, but it's been awesome. It's, it's been a blessing, all of it. Uh, it's all good things at the end of the day. You know, still being able to stay in Nashville, stay, stay with the Titans is a huge blessing. Um, don't take that for granted. Uh, so I'd, I want to prove it to the staff that wanted to keep me back. Uh, I want to prove it to my family and as, as well as these coaches. Um, a lot of changes in this building. The wide receiver position on the roster mm -hmm. has changed maybe as much as anything in the building. How do you still view your opportunity? Obviously, you came back for a reason. They brought you back for a yeah. reason. But how do you view the opportunity? And what do you have to do maybe different than what you were doing before? Yeah, uh, it's still a great opportunity. Um, you had a lot of depth. A lot of depth in the receiver room. I was talking with Kyle, and it's just like it's awesome just to be in this room right now. And you know, hopefully we can all be here. Uh, you know, come during the season because it could be re something really special. Um, so it's going to be all hands on deck. You know, that's what I've learned about the league since I've been in it. Um, it's you're going to need everybody, and it'll be really cool just to be a part of this room uh, to learn from the guys that have done it at a high level for a while now, um, and, and hopefully try to find my role and carve out a role within that. For a couple off seasons now, if you. If you wanted to test it and try somewhere else, you probably could have. But, I mean, did you go into that saying, I want to be here and get something done to stay here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I love I love this city. I love this team. I uh, wanted to stay here. Got roots here. Um, got friends here. Uh, you know, my wife and I, we got a house here last, last year. Uh, so I wanted to stay um, and was very grateful that I was able to uh, and got an opportunity, um, you know, when I was going into it. All the, all the teams are going to be a new opportunity with the coaching change. So I figured, you know, staying in a place, you know, where I'm comfortable, where I know the staff, I know the facility, I know the city, that was going to be the best place for me. How important is this week, just the three days, to kind of put the finishing touches on the foundation you put in this offseason? Yeah, it's huge. You know, it's, it's a great start um, to, to build some momentum going into the rest of this offseason. Um, and because I feel like if we can build some confidence going into training camp, we can come back and kind of hit the ground rolling instead of starting to, starting from ground zero all over again. Uh, move in space, uh, be physical, um, finish plays, be aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like it, I mean, every offensive line is big, but this is an exceptionally <laughs> large group of guys out mm -hmm. there so far. Is that something that you, you've noticed yourself? Uh, yeah, I have noticed we are pretty big. We are pretty strong, especially Big JC. I mean, he's a load. But, uh, yeah, I think we've got a, a really good unit right here. We just, like I said, got to keep growing, um, working every day from here all the way through camp and the rest of the season. It was, will be better. Have you been building that chemistry with that group? Still early. Um, I think we've been growing good chemistry uh, so far just from supporting each other in the drills. I see how, uh, like, you know, everybody wants everyone to do well. Um, from that aspect and also um, just hanging out in the locker room or going to eat with the guys, just, just small things like that. I think we've, we've been getting some good camaraderie. So have you been pretty much working at the head of the line at Icon? Uh, what did I do today? Did you see me today? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I was there today. But, I mean, everything's always moving in this league, so. But you've been there most of the time. Uh, sometimes, yeah, not all the time. I mean, definitely just kind of from a mindset standpoint, we're definitely uh, preaching everybody attacking and being aggressive and everything. But also, y'all were out there today. You saw we got some fun uh, some fun stuff going in to put some pressure on the offense and uh, make them worry about what we're doing less than we're worrying about what they're doing. So it's been fun. Sorry, I'm in second wave here. But what's it like when your new staff comes in you know, as far as you trying to prove yourself all over again? And how is that kind of going for you? Yeah, for sure. I think that the biggest thing about this league is you got to prove yourself every day, whether it's new staff, old staff, whatever. Uh, everybody's uh, job is up for grabs every day, so you got to prove it every day anyways. But I, I think this staff came in with great energy. They took made it an effort to get to know us and also just encourage us to be ourselves. So that's what I've been focused on doing is just being myself, being the best version of myself I can be, and then uh, hopefully that leaves the right impression. Yeah, so. A lot has been made about the green dot, who's going to wear it and yeah. all of that. <laughs> well, what's your
what's your perspective? Like, you feel like that's being overblown? Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, people like to make a big deal about the green dot. I think it's just uh, people make it more than what it is, but I think that at the end of the day, we're going to just put guys in positions to be successful, and everybody who has skill sets, the coaching staff, it's their job to then put them in position to use those skills, and I think they're doing a great job of that, and however that all shakes out, that'll be what it be, but we're, just, we're not really worried about that. We're focused on just uh, trying to get better at football, come together as a unit, and everybody stepping into their role, whatever role that might be, and that may change day to day uh, throughout the season, but I think it's, it gets blown out of proportion what's a little the, bit. What's the balance like for you as you, you know, you're a nice guy, probably Cedric comes to you, probably try to help him, but also as a guy that gunning for your spot what's what's that dynamic like as you guys work together yeah definitely I think uh, especially right now and as, like as a good teammate and a, trying to be a leader like I'm trying to make everybody better trying to help Cedric along show him show him the way uh, especially like getting used to the nuances of the NFL uh, we have a good relationship already uh, it hasn't been working together long but he came up to me and we were, we've been talking since the beginning uh, just trying to help make each other better and just keep making the team better I mean I think that right now we got a lot of guys in that room uh, that can compete and can play and so we're all working hard and we're all preparing to be starters, so I think that that competitiveness makes everyone better and it makes the defense better. So, would you look back at last year? What'd you like? What you didn't like? What's maybe your focus heading into this year? I mean, definitely watching the tape last year, put some good stuff on film, but I just want to. I feel like I did my job a lot last year. I want to start making more plays. Uh, getting, I'm just like that close on a lot of plays to making big, big plays that can impact the game. So uh, trying to do that, trying to focus on the little things right now, get the details ironed out so I can just play fast and play aggressive.